It's 1 a.m. I need to make some marinade for some beef jerky because beef jerky takes 12 hours to marinate. Let's make some marinade. It's going to be a weird one. It's an experimental beef jerky marinade. Let's have some fun. And to start off, we're going to give yourself a little bit of black pepper and a little bit of ground cumin. Drop that in there. A little bit of cayenne pepper. Go ahead and drop that in the bowl. Don't forget to give yourself some ground paprika. Oh, and yes, you always want to use something like some onion powder. And of course, just a little less on the garlic powder. Now to add in a little interesting, I'm going to add some coriander into this bowl. And the weird one for other people is going to be these two tablespoons of cocoa powder. And of course, you're going to need yourself a little bit of salt and an even tinier amount of liquid smoke. You're going to need that for some jerky, right? And for this, we're going to add some Worcestershire sauce. Here's some Mike's Extra Hot Honey. You're going to want to add that in there. Come on. Come on. There we go. And an odd one I've never used before. We're going to add in two tablespoons of molasses. Interestingly enough, this is an ingredient I've never used in any of my cooking before. So let's go ahead and give that a little try. And of course, after all of that, we're going to start going, go ahead and give this a nice stir. Just stir it up nice and good. I still cannot get over the fact I can't, can't say Worcestershire sauce. I'll get there eventually. It's going to take a lot more effort. But anyway, you're just going to keep mixing this up until it's nice and smooth. You don't want to have any of the excess cocoa powder just sticking out too much because it's going to affect the flavor if you don't get that well mixed. Ah, there we go. And yes, I did speed this up. And of course, just to be sure, I wanted to add a little zing. So, uh, yeah, we're just going to add a tiny, tiny splash of white vinegar. And for this next, you want to make sure you have nice cuts of thin steak. Put the, put all those pieces into less, like a bag and go ahead and start filling with your bread. Well, now that the beef is done and all the seasonings are done, it's time to put all of these, which is just filled with all the spices, into the fridge for 12 hours. Into the fridge you go. Your thin pieces of steak that have been marinating should look a lot like this. And of course, the next thing you're going to want to do is lay all of your pieces of meat onto your dehydrator racks in a haphazard fashion. Meat. Set dehydrator for 158 degrees Fahrenheit and start for six hours. And after 18 hours of hard work, your jerky should be looking like this. <sighs> it's been 18 hours. I'm tired. But it's done. It's uh, it's jerky. But now that it's done, let's see if I want to try this one or go with this smaller one right here. Okay, so jerky is done. Moment of truth. All right, that fell a little bit hard. Hmm. The initial taste for me is a little bit sweet. Now that pepperiness from the cayenne is coming in. Like the first taste was a little bit of sweet and chocolate. But now I'm getting the peppers and the coriander. It's actually, um, I think this will grow on me. It's 
course I uh I have a lot to learn. <laughs> Actually, I'd say the flavor itself is uh, pretty good. Though I would argue that it would do better as a barbecue sauce on like a rack of ribs. It would make a really good rib sauce. But as a jerky, it's um, it's not bad. It's worth trying. It's just I want to perfect the recipe a little bit more, where um. Tone down the sweet a little more, maybe increase the amount of coriander in there compared to the cocoa. But very good. I was afraid it was gonna with the amount of honey that was in there, like I did with the salmon. As I tried salmon jerky with that same honey and it stuck to the rack. I was afraid the, the beef jerky was gonna stick to the rack like the salmon did. It did not. So I have the rest of it in the fridge cooling down because this, this is fresh off the rack. So and you can tell there's still tiny, tiny bit of moisture from the marinade. Because one mistake I did make is you're supposed to pat it dry with the paper towel to get the excess marinade off it. I left it there. I really wanted to taste that marinade. But let's get some bites of this bigger one. Mmm. Oh, yeah. I'd say that's a success for a flavor. Hey, I'm bad. I'm definitely going to try to perfect that one. That's one I want to keep. Definitely. <laughs> anyway. I'm not going to keep you all. Recipe is right there. It, it's it's in Imperial. It's not in Metric. So I'm, I think in the description down below, I'm going to have to uh, give you some conversions for Metric. It shouldn't be too hard. This is Terry Quatar, and uh, enjoy making yourself some jerky. It's pretty good stuff.